Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Svetlana and today we have actually a very interesting, very exciting video and my heart is just trying to jump out of my chest because today we're gonna work on a couple things. Actually, it was supposed to be fully an unboxing video. I have a box that arrived all the way from United States and I am, I am more than excited, but we will jump into that a little bit later because before that I have a houseplant rescue story. Yep, I know, it's happened. It happened again. <laughs> so it was a gloomy Saturday morning. Yesterday, I actually took my baby Baloo for a little walk and we did have a lot of fun, you know, just enjoying the spring weather, even though it's still kind of chilly. You can't compare it to the wind. And then I'm just on my way back home when I noticed this little pile of garbage. <laughs> surprise, surprise, right? I mean, technically it's not like, um, a garbage it's more like a pile of compost so this is the place where people put different like plenty stuff so like you know branches and weeds from your garden and stuff like that and this is where i notice a very familiar leaves and when i say very familiar leaves they are not like your you know outdoors technically for somebody it's outdoors in the very different side of the globe but here in eastern europe this is very not an outdoor plant so i noticed this hoya leaf and i was like Wait a minute, wait a flipping minute, something is out of character right here. So I go closer, of course, I'm not a big fan to go into stuff like garbage and compost piles. But when I saw this hoya leaf, I just couldn't leave it there because, come on, it's a it was actually beautiful, splashy hoya leaf. So I start to pull it and then I notice that it's a kind of long branch. So I just like a clown, you know, pull this <laughs> hoya branch slash wine and... That was it, I guess. This is why I'm not filming like a whole separate video of this rescue because it was one singular wine with four or five-ish notes of Hoya. And you can see that Hoya right over here. So let me show you the footage of me finding it and then we'll jump into what the heck is happening right here. So as you can tell, very casual, nothing too crazy, just a simple broken off branch and the very end of it actually was broken, this part I'll show you in a minute, and the bottom part was actually snipped off, so I'm not sure why, but somebody decided probably to give a little haircut to their Hoya and just threw this branch out, which is kind of wild because it's wild, I cannot believe somebody just throws away houseplants like that, but you know what? I was there for the rescue. The branch didn't look too well, actually it was broken in the middle, you probably saw it in the footage, and uh, some of the leaves are actually kind of not okay. So for example, this very top leaf, as you can tell, it's broken, right? So it's not in the healthiest shape, plus the very top of the branch is kind of, I'm not sure, broken off, kind of beaten, oh, I'm not sure. It's not it's not looking too well. So I still decided to leave it since it has a note right here, right? So I still want to give it a chance. But what I did, I actually just, I came home. I washed it with actually dish soap because I didn't have anything available at that time. I just went quickly, wash it off, cut it in singular note cuttings and just put them in the water. Nothing too crazy. So I have four cuttings. This leaf is also kind of broken, but look at this. This looks like a beautiful Hoya carnosa splash leaves i mean i'm not 100 sure obviously because there are no labels when people throw away plants 
right? But it seems like it, it does have a potential. Actually, when I rescued it, it was kind of wrinkly and the leaves are very, very thin. So I thought, okay, this is definitely not for the first night out there laying in on that compost pile. But right now, after rescuing it, putting it into the water, I can see that finally the leaf starts to get a little bit back in shape. They're not that wrinkly anymore, even though they were in this water dish for about 24 hours. You can still see some of wrinkles on some of the leaves, right? But I just want to give them some more time. And hopefully soon I'm gonna have a completely brand new Hoya. <laughs> Very random houseplant rescue. Honestly, did not expect that at all. But at the same time, just couldn't leave it there. Just couldn't do it. I mean, come on, it's gonna be a beautiful plant one day. If you will take a closer look, by the way, into this pot that my Bilita is hiding, there is another Hoya Cornosa splash and that is the plant that I actually grew from two cuttings so two note cuttings right now it's a full-on beautiful pot of plant so I do believe one day maybe this is gonna be a very simple story with this one because I didn't see any pests I didn't see any kind of trouble so we're just gonna work with it and see of course I'm gonna give you updates later on and yeah simple simple houseplant rescue very in a very ordinary way, I would believe, but yeah. At the same time, it's not often when I find hoys. I think hoys are the most rare plants to rescue here in Vilnius. I mean, at least in my experience, I actually had one of you write me a direct message on Facebook, I think last spring or summer, saying that you rescued a full on, like beautiful humango spot of Hoya Cornosa. And it was, oh, I was so jealous because the lady was from the same neighborhood that I am from. And at the same time, I was so happy that this plant just did not end up in the trash. So somebody did give it home and, you know, a new life. So, so I just want to give you a little shout out if you're still watching my videos. I do remember you, but yeah. Hoya rescue. What the heck? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but let's leave it there, right? But right now, let's get into another business. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm filming this. We actually been talking with Dawn about this box for several times, and this is actually a box filled with many different stuff. I honestly don't know what's inside. All I know that this is Harry Potter inspired box. Oh, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Actually, next Friday is my birthday. I mean, when you are watching this video, it's already this Friday on the 26th of April is my birthday. So this is already starts to feel like my birthday. It's gonna be one of my first birthday presents if we won't count this beautiful mic that Gerda gifted at me, right? So another present is right here and I'm so excited to open it. This box had a very long trip, so hopefully everything is safe and sound in there. And for those who are maybe a bit new on my channel, I am a huge fan of Harry Potter. I mean, honestly, even for my honeymoon, I'm trying to talk my boyfriend slash fiance slash future husband to go and visit UK and visit Harry Potter's like park attractions like museum I don't know how to call it but just this like themed park that is just filled with Harry Potter stuff I know for some it might look ridiculous because it's just a movie right but for me it's a big part of my personality I love the books I love the movies I have lots of decorations I mean just randomly looking at the wall, bam, a broom. <laughs> Sorry, the, the, you don't need to see that. Anyway, so this is a box that Dawn and her son actually decided to send me. And I'm so excited, guys. I hope you will enjoy this video, my reactions. I honestly couldn't be more excited. I think this is my first Harry Potter inspired box. So it's very special. It's so special. And I'm just like, oh, let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Okay. We're starting with, oh my gosh, that, that wrapping paper. Oh, I'm definitely gonna save it up and use it for something. I don't know, I have so much of your scent packaging paper. I mean, I don't know where to put it, but I still have it, I still have it. <laughs> Let's go to the beginning. We have a beautiful blue envelope and we have, oh, we have a letter. <sighs> Oh my gosh, there is lots of you guys. This box was sent by Don, Kenneth, Logan, Remy, and Fur Babies, Grey, Apple, Tofu, and Beans. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Okay. Svetlana, I hope this package has fared the long journey halfway across the world from our small town in Louisiana to you. My whole family was so excited to put this package together for you. And of course, we couldn't leave Baloo out. Oh, there's something gonna be for Baloo. I'm definitely gonna need to bring him here, actually close the door. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, we hope he likes his new toys and treats. Oh, you guys. You know the way to my heart. <laughs> okay, made sure to skip the squeaky toys for less recording interruptions. <laughs> okay, you definitely saw more of my unboxings, right? <laughs> but of course, at least one had to be plenty, team. Oh, okay, 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 I'm not okay. I'm Okay, I'm getting all of the feels. My son was so excited when I told him you said you would love some of his Harry Potter things. He is the sweetest, most giving and coolest kid I know. And I hope you enjoy the new trinkets to add to your collection. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, 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 Kenneth or Logan, I don't know which one, but... Okay, okay, brief, brief, okay. You have brought many giggles and laughs to our family and we look forward to your weekly uploads. Sorry for not giving you weekly uploads for the last couple of weeks. As you know, my sister was getting married, so a lot of action was happening behind the scenes, but I'm, I'm happy to take you along and be back, back in business, back in action. I'm there for you guys, I'm there for you. Okay, you're such a genuine and selfless person and we love that you are unapologetically yourself. My husband and I find ourselves quoting you in our silly moments. <laughs> what are you flipping talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I truly wish I was closer and could ship you some cuttings from my plant collection. Oh my gosh, I would love that. I have so many Hoya. Oh my gosh, this is so ideal. Let's imagine, okay, this Hoya is from now on gonna be called a Don Hoya. Let's Thing that you sent me this Hoya. It was just a destiny for me to receive this Hoya, like a little cutting of Hoya. Let's just imagine this Hoya was in this box, right? Nobody will know. Nobody will know. It's our secret. Oh my gosh, Don. <sighs> I'm so excited. At the same time, I'm so nervous. I'm not sure why I'm so nervous. I just... I already know this is gonna be epic and beautiful and guys thank you so much for this sweet message even this simple letter if you would send me this letter this would already have made my whole year thank you so much messages like this you know online and on paper are always so special and I actually keep all of your cards guys right here really close to my heart and to my soul every single day every single one of you it's, it's just oh, it's just too special guys I feel so special because of you. This guide has no special purpose. <laughs> okay, I love this. <laughs> this is so sweet. It's just here to make you smile. It worked. It worked, guys. <laughs> okay, let's put this thing aside so, you know, it won't be damaged in the process by the tears and all of the action. And let's flip and dig in. I know this might be a very long intro once again. You know, I'm a mumble person, so you signed up for that. Well, tuning in for this video. Okay, I'm trying to be careful. Okay, this is actually, this is, this is not a paper. Oh my gosh, this is like, this is, I'm not, I'm not sure how to call it, but it's like plastic. I can use it for more. Oh my gosh, did I open it the wrong side? It's like, okay, okay, let me figure it out. Don't make fun of me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry for a little inconvenience. I guess we're gonna go somehow. Oh my gosh, there is so much stuff. <laughs> Guys. It's gonna be a long one, huh? Okay, I see treats, so let's probably bring Baloo and then we'll move on to me, obviously. Obviously, first things first. One second. Okay, okay we have little superstar ready for business. Say hello to baby Baloo. Oh, smell delicious, okay. Look at... <laughs> Taco mean is beef flavor. <laughs> okay, you are ready, huh? Okay, this is really exciting. I can see baby boy is excited too. Aren't you? you? Smell that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that smells good, huh? Okay, let's open. Let's give you a little snack. Oh my gosh, this smells delicious, huh? Look at this part. <laughs> okay, ASMR. Yeah. 
You, <sighs> he likes to swallow. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's not a big fan of chewing. He just flip and goes to the business. Go straight to town. Okay, I can see something. <gasps> Look at this. What is this? You excited? Are you excited? We're gonna play with this duke? He loves to play with toys like that outside. So this is gonna be perfect. Little update for you, baby. Oh. I'll be honest, since we were preparing for Lena's wedding and our wedding, we didn't buy too many new toys and snacks for baby Bolu. So this is gonna be such a treat, huh? What is this? You like it? You wanna leave? Okay, I brought him back. He wanted to go already with his new toy. Wait, baby, but wait, wait, he really wanna go. Okay, I see more treats, so we need to try more. Sausages in the blankets. <laughs> Actually, these are so fun. I wanna try them myself. Here's some more. Does this smell delicious? Oh, it's a lucky day for you, sir. In today's episode, me and Baby Bolu are gonna be presenting you a taste test by Dawn and her family of sausages in a blanket. Let's proceed. Bite. Oh. <laughs> He's so cute, I cannot handle this. Thank you guys, oh my gosh, you're gonna be so happy, aren't you, with your little snackies? You can go. Thank you so much, sir, for your participation in today's video. <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, this is such a sweet style. But I just noticed something. I cannot unsee it. I see Hagrid, oh my gosh. And he's with cooking slash baking gloves. <laughs> and with apron, look at this. This is so good. I'm such a sucker for things like that. Small knickknacks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love him already. This is actually my first Harry Potter figurine that is not like Lego size. Oh my gosh, just me casually showing you more Harry Potter stuff in this Harry Potter unboxing. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute. His hands are moving. Oh my gosh. And head is moving. Baby, look. You know, my biggest dream is to save these things to my future kids maybe someday and I'm not sure if I'm gonna give it to them anytime soon or like forever. This is gonna be my collection. Why oh, he's so cute? Oh my gosh, I love the baking slash cooking Hagrid. This is so sweet, right? Okay, we need to put somewhere. No, this is not for you, babe. This is for mama. This is for other kids like me. Okay. Also, all of the details. This is so sweet. With little golden details like golden snitch. Oh, oh my gosh. This is so cute. Only right now I know it is this. That this is actually Harry Potter inspired trunk almost. <laughs> I can feel oh, there are more figurines inside. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm shaking. <laughs> Baloo, we have Harry. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna become such a nerd in this video. <laughs> He's so sweet. With his little Gryffindor outfit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, okay. Just will you stand up? Oh, okay, wait, we're gonna help you a bit. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need to make a special place for all of that stuff. I, I think I'm gonna need a whole shelf. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Hermione is there as well. Oh my gosh, look at her little scarf. Oh, I'm so shaking right now. This is so cute. I know this is probably so childish of me, but at the same time, I'm just such a sucker for all of the small knickknacks, especially when they're inspired by Harry Potter movies slash books. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I know J.K. Rowling isn't like, honestly, uh, not that long ago I found out some, you know, aspects about her that I, of course, do not support. But the world she created is always something that I'm gonna be appreciate and, you know, even though I don't support her views on some aspects of the world, you know, but this special world was always a part of my own childhood and slash <laughs> whole life. So this is very special. This is very special. Look at them. 
we have, oh my gosh, there's something more. Oh, oh my gosh, we have a little dragon. You can bet this one will go somewhere on my houseplant pot. He's, right now he needs to cough with a little bit of fire. <laughs> it's so cute, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, my heart is melting. Oh, and these figurines, we actually have the same figurines uh, from Little Kinder Surprise, like chocolate eggs. And we actually were thinking of putting them on our Christmas tree this year. But since we didn't have one, I think we're gonna do it next year. And you can bet this will go to on our Christmas tree. Look at this Dumbledore. Malfoy. Oh my gosh, I forgot the name. Oh my gosh, it's, it's right there. It's right there in my brain. Wait. Forgot the name. I mean, it's already surprising how many of these names I do remember, <laughs> right? With the history of my memory with names. Oh my gosh, but this one I'm so excited. I want to keep it in my everyday purse. I want to put in here maybe my lip balm and some pills from allergies, little tiny chocolates for the mood boost. You can bet this is going to be in my everyday life. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's put the small little baby baby things right here so people won't sneak them while i'm filming because he loves to do that to be honest he's actually napping right here right now look at this nude so cute so cute okay oh my gosh this is such a strong start i'm just i'm shaking <laughs> okay i can see little mushroom <laughs> Oh my gosh, this fairy garden figurines, heck yeah. I actually have a bunch of mushrooms on my shelf as well. If you, I mean, me once again, just vibing with you guys. <laughs> I do love mushrooms. So these ones definitely will go onto my shelf as well. If you would take a closer look on every single shelf, I have so many different figurines because this is something that I really love to add, like that special spark to your home. And this is definitely gonna work perfectly in my home. Look at those mushrooms. <laughs> I love them. Oh my gosh, we have so much. Oh, we have more mushrooms. <laughs> wow, I love these shapes. Dang, right now I think maybe I need to go ahead and make a full-on fairy garden with these because they're so, so cool. What do you think? Lovely, huh? So lovely. Heck yes. Heck yes. I'm having such a good time. What's this? Oh, is that a keychain? A spooky keychain! It's like Dios of Murtos. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wildly wrong, but this is definitely looks like from that. Oh, Dios dos Muertos. Is it how it goes? Oh, 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 sorry, 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 guys. Oh my gosh, yes! I'm gonna put it, I think, either on my keychain or on my purse. Look at those little tiny details. Little skulls, beautiful flowers, and beautiful coffins <laughs> so sweet so sweet oh you know me too well i guess i'm sharing so much of my personality on the internet so you guys definitely know what to send my way oh my gosh yes yes oh that's so cute very cute pen oh my gosh Look at it definitely looks like those mushrooms that you sent me. Look at this. Ooh, sparkles, sparkles. It's definitely gonna stand somewhere over here so it will catch the sun and give me little rainbows in the room. Look at that. How special I should feel by having this simple flipping pen, just writing my business, you know. Hmm, today I need to water my plants. Huh? Check. So cute! This is so cute. This is such my vibe. Ooh, 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 baby blue. You know what? We have this. What's this? Oh, it's just the packaging paper, huh? Oh, you deserve it. What a mysterious box. Let's see if I do deserve it. Oh, it's open, okay. Okay, it's open. It's open. Mysterious box. It's a mug. I love mugs. I just love mugs. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay, I definitely have my new spring mug. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at this. I wet my plants. 
<laughs> this is so funny. Oh my gosh. I love that the handle is actually chunky. This is what I love the most about mugs. And the size itself is not like small, those tiny like espresso shots mugs because I do love to chug my coffee. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, sorry, too much information. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, thank you, Dawn. This is like the most perfect package ever. Stuff for me, like plenty related, Harry Potter related, treats for baby. <sighs> oh, we have more. Oh, it's a lucky day for a flipping baby Baloo. Oh, wow. Now I see what you meant. A cactus chew toy. <laughs> this is so cute. I love this. Can I keep it? <laughs> what is this? Is this a cactus? Is this a mod of flipping cactus? Look, look. You like it? You want to take it? You wanna go? Okay. Go take care of your business. He's so sweet. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. We're almost there. Just making sure I won't miss anything. Okay, we have last things. Okay. That, that package safely, but I see a lot of small knickknacks. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, this one definitely gonna be handy. Little... How do you call it? Clips? Yeah. Clips for plants. Oh, wow, love the color. Love the flipping color. You know I love colors. <laughs> this is so sweet and so handy. Oh my gosh. This package is like just so many little, small, tiny knickknacks slash things but every single one is just so right up my alley it's insane at the same time it feels so weird because you know me so well it kind of i, I feel i don't know i don't know i, I don't know what to feel <laughs> i feel weird <laughs> at the same time because you know me too good oh yeah. oh yeah think positive feel positive that's a super okay Sorry, I, I for a moment stopped talking. I just received a bunch of sweet little stickers. Look at this one. So pretty. Oh my gosh, this definitely will go into my bullet journal. Oh my gosh. Beauty comes from within. Heck yeah, it does. Heck yeah. So many beautiful. <laughs> Keep looking up. There may be a rainbow waiting for you. Oh, these are so sweet. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, guys. These, these are all so special. Okay, this is something that I'm kind of curious. What? What, baby? <laughs> what? Do you want to come? You want to see more? Okay. Well, sorry, I was opening more stuff without you. <laughs> oh, is that a little charm? Ooh. I bet this this one was made by one of you guys, huh? This is more like Luna vibes from Harry Potter. Oh, I like that. I like handmade things. This is so special. <laughs> that little mushroom. <laughs> Look at this. It's, oh, so <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a cactus probably, right? <laughs> My bad. But it definitely looks a bit like a mushroom. But also, so cute. This is definitely gonna go onto my shelf. Look at this. This is a felted cacti. How special is that? Oh my gosh, I bet this took so much time and effort. Oh my gosh, I will have so many little knickknacks. Oh my gosh, that little thing. This is definitely a mushroom. Look at this. This will go so perfectly into my collection. Oh, nope. I know right now mushrooms almost like in 2005 was uh, owls. Do you remember that era? when everybody was wearing owls, having all of the stuff with owls, like clothes and, you know, house decor. I think right now the mushroom have their era and I'm so down for it. I'm so down for it. Okay, and lastly, we have some, these are like, I this a hand, like hair bands? Cause they definitely are bands or something. Let me know in the comments. Honestly, I never seen some that are just tight like this interesting interesting at the same time i feel like i can use this one as well is it for here no idea no idea but i love it i love it moving on we have something more in here oh that sticker though oh heck yeah this is definitely my favorite sticker 
look at all of those plants i just want to stick it on my phone case <laughs> this is so beautiful mm. Mm, mm, mm. what a beautiful art wow oh my gosh you fuck with stickers oh and of course handy dandy plant tape you can never go wrong with one of these by sending them out to the plant person this is definitely gonna be used i need to work on extensions on my mouse pole so definitely gonna need more of that so perfect flipping timing i know i did i do have somewhere more of mine but once again i'm not sure where i put it so <laughs> we'll make sure to put it somewhere close to the pole so i won't be missing it <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. And this is, what is this? Oh, it's a pot! Oh my gosh, at first I was so confused, but this is a pot! This is so perfect for a fairy garden, oh my goodness! You can bet, oh my gosh! Mushrooms definitely will go in here. The black will work so perfectly with all of those colors. Heck yes. Oh my gosh, guys. This is such a sweet box. There was not a singular thing I wasn't excited about. I'll be honest with you. Let me tell you guys. Oh my gosh, just having this many little tiny details that are gonna be so flipping useful in my daily life. You can bet I'm probably gonna take this to my wedding slash honeymoon for little like touch-ups, makeup stuff, maybe some, you know, first aid kit stuff and stuff like that. Oh my God, I'm just so flipping excited right now. All I wanna do actually just turn off this camera and just appreciate every single piece from Harry Potter in here and put it beautifully around here on my shelf, style it all around because Oh, I need a cup of tea because I definitely need to try it out right now. ASAP. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. I got my plant. <laughs> definitely hilarious. Definitely flipping hilarious. Oh my gosh, my heart is so full. Baloo doesn't want to leave my side. <laughs> Do you see him? He likes to nap like this from time to time. Look at this. Look at this little babe. He's so lonely lately since he doesn't have a brother anymore. So it feels so appropriate to treat him with all of those toys and treats. Give him some special love, little babe. All right, guys. Well, that was a lot of everything. Thank you so much once again. This was so special. I feel so special. And I hope every single one of you enjoyed this unboxing. I'm so stoked this box was standing on my table in the kitchen for one and a half days and let me tell you those days were so difficult because I just wanted to film of course this unboxing but at the same time I just my, my hands were so itchy just to flip and open it and see what's inside so I'm so glad I finally did it right now I have so many projects that I need to work on and this is just impossible to be more special this is so so special thank you once again Don and her family thank you so much for all of the handmade things of course I'm gonna cherish them and appreciate them I'm so happy I'm so happy Oh my gosh oh my gosh this is such a good day thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart of course stay tuned for more upcoming plenty videos i know this technically isn't very plenty but you know i just need to unbox it and show it to the world because it was so nicely made every single piece was so special and it would be rude not to show it to the world because you guys did an amazing job but anywho thank you so much for watching guys let me know what you think about this unboxing which thing was your favorite uh, let me know what you think about this houseplant rescue slash hoard that came from the box if you know what i mean <laughs> let's chat about it in the comments like this video if you enjoyed this unboxing subscribe for more plenty content and apparently more fairy garden content and stuff like that and of course before leaving you let me teach you another language lesson since we have this beautiful beautiful mug so if you want to say mug in lithuanian you need to say podalis once again podalis or podukas it's the same thing. And if you want to say mug in Russian, you need to say chashka. Or here locally we call it krushka. Once again, chashka or krushka. This is it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead of you. And hopefully I'll see you in my next one. And wish me happy birthday because probably this is the last video that I filmed while being 28. Oh my God. This is so weird. This is gonna be my last 20 something birthday. Wow, I'm getting old, huh? Definitely getting old, but couldn't be more happy about it. Thank you guys. Until the next time. Bye.